Lived freedom can often be seen as a foreign concept um, because we are a society that is progressing, that is still trying to emerge into empowering its young women, into empowering its young people. But I also think as much as all of this is being done that we shouldn't let go of the fact that we have come a long way and being able to be a young person and have an opportunity to live your goals to achieve your dreams means a great deal and i think that alone are is an example of um, of lived freedom for example in my case being able to wake up every day as a young black woman in business and being able to go um, achieve my goals and run a business and actively uh, participate in the economy every day using my skills and talent. I think it's it's a step towards the right direction because that is actual freedom that I'm able to touch, that I'm able to even use as a tool to advance not just myself but also my counterparts and also those who are less uh, disadvantaged um, in my area and you know in my era as well. So I think as much as it is a foreign concept because there are a few things and a few social ills that still hold us back in that regard, we need to remember that justice can never ever be justice completely until we are able to feed people at the most practical level of their human rights, basic human rights every day. And I think as a young black woman um, in, in media and in the literary space, I, I advocate for this because it is only till people are themselves free in their own personal spaces and they're able to access certain things within the system and in the country that we can actually say there's some some concept of lived freedom and to me it means exactly that letting freedom be as practical as possible and letting it change the lives of ordinary people going forward in their dreams in equipping them in building them and in actually advancing them for a better future